My name is Craig Stanley and I have OCD. So I've been suffering from OCD for probably about 10 to 15 years. I remember going to my classes and like just everything I did like had to be a certain way in my head and like I could not even like function. I couldn't like think straight. Like I was so focused on these thoughts. So growing up with Craig, it was a little bit of a learning curve for me. Um, you know, recognizing that his disorder was as severe as it is. Um, you know, and that, that came along with um, not only playing music, but also just being his friend. This past summer where I went to a uh, PHP program where there was a facility where they treat other people with OCD. So I got to meet other people that have OCD and I got to really like hear their story of what, how, what they go through and I got to tell them what I go through. And it really helped me. I learned some new coping skills and all those kind of things. And then once I got out of that program, I like was a lot better. Like I had a brand new perspective on everything. It's funny because the therapy I do is pretty counterintuitive. Like they say to like when a thought comes up and you have this urge to go do that compulsion, they say the way the way to treat it is to don't do it. And you'd think, well, how's that going to make it feel better? But by not doing that, you realize you can sit with that uncertainty, those scary thoughts, and as time goes by, it'd be like, oh man, everything feels like it's up here. And then like, those two days go by or whatever, and it's like, all the way down here. And you're like, oh, I'm not scared anymore. I think it's very important if you have somebody in your life that you might question of whether they have a grip on their mental health or not, um, to reach out to them, to help them, um, even if it feels a little awkward. Um, I think that is a really good space amongst friends to talk about that sort of thing. My goal with writing about OCD is to raise awareness for the disorder and to um, educate people on how serious the, the disorder can be. And you know, with, uh, with, with us putting out our music about it, you know, one of my other goals too is to be able to connect with people and fans that also have OCD and that also deal with other mental health disorders. I really want to stay on message about OCD because I really feel like that's something that I'm very passionate about writing about. I don't really want to steer away from that. So moving forward, I think as a band, it's going to be important to us to continue the conversation about mental health and OCD, but not only the conversation, um, but the music. and. You know, it's a little uncertain of where our music is going to take us, but we really hope that any time that we have a chance to, that we can be that source of um, support for anyone in need.